Justice. When an individual fails to apply ethics to himself and fails to follow the morals of the group, justice enters in. It is not realized generally that the criminal is not only antisocial but is also anti-self. A person who is out ethics, who has his dynamics out of communication, is a potential or active criminal in that crimes against the pro-survival actions of others are continually perpetrated. Crime might be defined as the reduction of the survival level along any one of the eight dynamics. Justice is used when the individual's own out ethics and destructive behavior begin to impinge too heavily on others. In a society run by criminals and controlled by incompetent police, the citizens reactively identify any justice action or symbol with oppression. But we have a society full of people who do not apply ethics to themselves, and in the absence of true ethics, one cannot live with others and life becomes miserable. Therefore, we have justice, which was developed to protect the innocent and decent. When an individual fails to apply ethics to himself and follow the moral codes, the society takes justice action against him. Justice, although it unfortunately cannot be trusted in the hands of man, has as its basic intention and purpose the survival and welfare of those it serves. Justice, however, would not be needed when you have individuals who are sufficiently sane and in ethics that they do not attempt to blunt others' survival. Justice would be used until a person's own ethics render him fit company for his fellows. Ethics, justice, and your survival. In the past, the subject of ethics has not really been mentioned very much. Justice was, however. Justice systems have long been used as a substitute for ethics systems, but when you try to substitute ethics for justice, you get into trouble. Man has not had an actual workable way of applying ethics to himself. The subjects of ethics and justice have been terribly aberrated. We now have the technology of ethics and justice straightened out. This is the only road out on the subject that man has. People have been trying to put ethics in on themselves for eons without knowing how. Ethics evolved with the individual's attempts at continued survival. When a person does something which is out ethics, harms his and others' survival, he tries to right this wrong. Usually he just winds up caving himself in. Caved in means mental and or physical collapse to the extent that the individual cannot function causatively. They cave themselves in because in an effort to restrain themselves and stop themselves from committing more harmful acts, they start withdrawing and withholding themselves from the area they have harmed. A person who does this becomes less and less able to influence his dynamics and thus becomes a victim of them. It is noted here that one must have done to other dynamics those things which other dynamics now seem to have the power to do to him. Therefore, he is in a position to be injured and he loses control. He can become, in fact, a zero of influence and a vacuum for trouble. This comes about because the person does not have the basic technology of ethics. It has never been explained to him. No one ever told him how he could get out of the hole he's gotten himself into. This technology has remained utterly unknown. So he has gone down the chute. Ethics is one of the primary tools a person uses to dig himself out with. Whether he knows how to or not, every person will try to dig himself out. It doesn't matter who he is or what he's done, he's going to be trying to put ethics in on himself one way or the other. Even with Hitler and Napoleon, there were attempts at self-restraint. It's interesting in looking at the lives of these people how thoroughly they worked at self-destruction. The self-destruction is their attempt at applying ethics to themselves. They worked at this self-destruction on several dynamics. They can't put ethics in on themselves. They can't restrain themselves from doing these harmful acts, so they punish themselves. They realize they are criminals and cave themselves in. All beings are basically good and are attempting to survive as best they can. They are attempting to put ethics in on their dynamics. Ethics and justice were developed and exist to aid an individual in his urge towards survival. They exist to keep the dynamics in communication. 
The technology of ethics is the actual technology of survival. An individual's dynamics will be in communication to the degree that he is applying ethics to his life. If one knows and applies ethics technology to his life, he can keep the dynamics in communication and continuously increase his survival. That is why ethics exists, so that we can survive like we want to survive, by having our dynamics in communication. Ethics are not to be confused with justice. Justice is used only after a failure of the individual to use ethics on himself. With personal ethics in across the dynamics, justice disappears as a primary concern. That's where you get a world without crime. A man who steals from his employer has his third dynamic out of communication with his first dynamic. He is headed for a prison sentence or unemployment at best, which is not what one would call optimum survival on the first and second dynamic, not to mention the rest of them. He probably believes he is enhancing his survival by stealing, yet if he knew the technology of ethics, he would realize he is harming himself as well as others and will only end up further down the chute. The man who lies, the woman who cheats on her husband, the teenager who takes drugs, the politician who is involved in dishonest dealings, all are cutting their own throats. They are harming their own survival by having their dynamics out of communication and not applying ethics to their lives. It may come as a surprise to you, but a clean heart and clean hands are the only way to achieve happiness and survival. The criminal will never make it unless he reforms. The liar will never be happy or satisfied with himself until he begins dealing in truth. The optimum solution to any problem presented by life would be that which leads to increased survival on the majority of the dynamics. Thus, we see that a knowledge of ethics is necessary to survival. The knowledge and application of ethics is the way out of the trap of degradation and pain. We can, each and every one of us, achieve happiness and optimum survival for ourselves and others by using ethics technology.